Hi students. In this video, we're going to discuss gases. And typically when people think of gases, they think of a lot of algebraic equations and gas laws, which is true. We'll be using those gas laws in the next couple of videos. But before I can actually get into those topics, I like to talk about kinetic molecular theory and the basic concepts with it to help us understand the relationships in those calculations. So the gas phase is unique. Why? The physical properties of a gas are independent of its chemical identity. This is very different from what we see in solids and liquids, what we refer to as condensed phases. Gases, doesn't matter if they're polar or nonpolar, their properties are independent of their characteristics. So as a result, it's very different from solids and liquids. We'll look at a theory that explains why gas behavior is universal and is independent of chemical identity. That theory is kinetic molecular theory. It's extremely simple, but explains behavior that helps us understand, again, when we get into gas law calculations. There's four basic statements that I want you to understand with kinetic molecular theory. One. Gas particles are in constant motion. They're moving in straight lines and bouncing off the walls of their container. Two, there are no attractive forces between the particles. When they collide, they bounce right off of each other. That's referred to as an elastic collision, like billiard, bar, billiard balls. Three, the majority of space is empty space. Gas particles are small, compared to the volumes they occupy. That is one of the reasons why their behavior is independent of the particles themselves. Four, the speed of the gas particles increases within temperature. So an increase in temperature causes these gas particles to move faster. That's related to kinetic molecular theory which, and kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is one half the mass of the particle times the velocity squared. So what are some applications of kinetic molecular theory? They can predict properties of gases. For one example, gases are compressible. The reason why gases are compressible is because the majority of space is empty space, as we discussed. And because they're compressible, we can see that they'll take the same shape and volume of their containers. But rather than just showing you slides, I want to refer to a very useful tool that you can find for free on the internet. And I've showed this before, but I'm going to do it again. If you just do a Google search under FET Colorado EDU and click on chemistry, you can scroll down here and there's two extremely useful FET simulations. There's the gas intro and the gas properties. So to go into gas uh, kinetic molecular theory, I'm going to go into the one gas properties. And I want to show a couple things. One first is if I go ahead and add gases. So you'll see here I have larger particles and smaller particles. First thing that I want to show is that we see that there's a diffusion of the gas and it's filling up its container in a uniform fashion. So basically, the gases are spreading out. We also see that the gas particles are in constant motions. And like billiard balls, they're bouncing off each other and the walls of the container without losing any energy. You could also see, according to kinetic molecular theory, that the majority of space that these gases occupy is empty space compared to the particle. Now over here, what I'm showing is the speed of the gas, and we'll see that it's, you know, an average speed of 466 meters per second. I have a distribution of the number of particles for that speed in this little graph right here under speed. And it's showing that the kinetic energy for the number of particles is pretty consistent. What I want to show is if I add more particles, Right? For the most part, 
the average speed is still the same for that size of particle. Now, I do see that there's more collisions, and we'll talk about this when I talk about pressure or pressure in the next video. So pressure has gone up because there are more collisions. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about with kinetic molecular theory is the size of the particle and how that influences its speed. So at the same temperature, the smaller particles are gonna have on average the same kinetic energy. But because they are smaller particles and they have roughly the same kinetic energy as the larger particles, as we can see here, they have to travel at a higher speed because kinetic energy is one half mv squared, one half mass times velocity squared. So if it's a smaller particle, it has to travel faster to have the same amount of kinetic energy. However, you could see that the behavior of the particle is independent of its characteristics. We're still moving in constant motion. They're still colliding with each other, the other gas particles and the walls of the container. The particles themselves are small compared to the volume they occupy. And because there is still space, they're taking the size and shape of the container they occupy. The last thing that I find really useful for this simulation is the last concept with kinetic molecular theory, how speed is directly proportional to temperature or how the kinetic energy of a gas is proportional to temperature. I show on this chart the speed of both the small and the lar larger particles. It also shows the average kinetic energy. What this also shows is the temperature. If I increase the temperature, which is really cool on the simulation, I can increase this temperature rather rapidly. And as soon as I do that, if I look at the temperature increase, I notice everything's moving faster. As a result, the average speed of these particles is moving faster. Obviously, the lighter particles are still moving faster. And I see that the kinetic energy has increased too. So I hope this video and the simulation helps you understand the basic concepts behind kinetic molecular theory. And you can always access the simulation on your own for free on the internet. Thanks for tuning in. And on the next video, we'll discuss why pressure increased as I added more particles.